I tell y'all, I, I thought I was going to be the world. That's how bad I was feeling. I, I ain't tell Lisa, but that's, that's how bad I was feeling. No, you know, when I came back from chemo that Tuesday, I was really sick. And, the, and, and then that Wednesday, I was in bed all day long. I get, I get up, come see in here. Next few minutes, I got to go to bed right now. All that bad shit. So, so. Good morning, family. How y'all doing? Welcome back, everybody, to the channel, the family, our crew, our home. If you're watching for the first time, welcome. My name is Alicia, and this is my family. This is my crew, you guys. I just um, dropped Mama off, and he had the cancer center. She got to get blood work done this morning, and then when she's done, I got to go across to my heart doctor and get blood work done. And then in the morning, Mama go to the heart doctor, so we see the same doctor. <laughs> And then I go back on the 30th for my follow-up. And I'm praying that he will release me so I can go ahead on and get my procedure done before this year is out. Because I got to get an upper and lower GI and some other stuff done. They're going to do it all at the same time. And I just want to get it done around the first part of December and just, just be done. <laughs> so I won't have to be getting any of that stuff done in the new year. So I'm praying he released me and they can hurry up and schedule that appointment. Um, my daughter is due on the 4th of December. So she, like I said, she can have a baby at any time. And I know she goes to the doctor tomorrow. Um, tomorrow may be her last visit. It may not be her last visit. But I know she'll know if she, if she dilated anymore. Um, but other than that, y'all... <laughs> I am here. I'm so grateful. I'm so thankful. I'm blessed for all of you guys. I cannot thank you all enough for all y'all prayers and concerns, thoughts, texts, emails, messages, inboxes, comments in the comment section. Um, y'all just really have been coming through for my entire family. I did um, talk to my cousin and I let her know that it is so many people that is out with my youtube family that is praying for the entire family and i also had talked to um my neighbor across the street and had let them know that so many are praying for their family sometimes it just makes you feel good to know people that you have never met talked to before or seen in your life seen before in your life are praying for you so we truly do appreciate it um, you guys have asked me, been asking me how I'm doing. I'm okay. Um, I am. I'm okay. Just to know. And I've told y'all before, I don't go anywhere. Like, I don't go. I don't party. I don't go to family parties. I've always said that. Um, and our family always, like on my dad's side, they always had get-togethers and stuff. And I've just never been one to go but my family know how much I love and care for them we see each other all the time in stores and everywhere else we follow each other on social media and we talk and we love on each other um and just like with our neighbor we don't have to be family for us to care because like I said my mama grew up with them from a young girl she used to babysit her children and it's you know it's it's just a hard loss when you lose somebody that you have known your entire life and then it's a hard loss to lose a family member even if it's a cousin and like i tell y'all that's my dad's niece my, um her mom her mom was my dad's sister and um you know loss is just lost and it's hard but she's no longer suffering she is no longer in pain she no longer have to go through chemo radiation pretty much every day because that girl will leave from radiation and go right into chemo with mama sometimes they would sit next to each other sometimes they'll be across from each other but mama would say how some days connie would come in and she would be in such good spirits and wouldn't really be in pain but other days she would come in and be in so much pain but she would still be in good spirits so i know that's affecting her as well because she knew connie from a baby her, you know, she used to hang out with Connie Mama and them. <laughs> like when her and my dad was together, she hung out with the family. Um, so it, it's affecting her too. And then having to be down there at chemo day in, day out 
with all of the other patients that's in chemotherapy and they're sick and all the other patients that's in radiation and they're sick. And then you have to see them day in, day out, going through all of this pain. You know the pain you're going through. Some is worse than others, you know. And mama got to see that. So it's like when one of them pass away, it's going to affect you. In your mind, you're going to be thinking. And y'all know. So it's, it's rough on her too. But, um, and like mama told me this morning, she said, Alicia, if I can get these legs straight, and it's mainly her right leg, she said if she can just get that pain in her leg to go away, she'll be fine because she said nothing else hurts her. Her chest doesn't hurt from her lung cancer. Her stomach doesn't hurt. Her colon, like nothing in her stomach or colon with her liver and colon, none of that hurts. She don't have back pain anymore because y'all know at one time mama back and chest and stuff was bothering her right after they did her chest biopsy um to find the lung cancer but she don't have none of that mama don't be coughing um with the lung cancer nothing she has no side effects with this lung cancer she said it's just her right leg um a lot of it is coming from this keytruda but the keytruda is helping her um it's working really well on her body and everything um the doctors even said that she got a cat scan coming up and the doctors even had said that these Katruda is doing really well with her. Um, so that's a blessing, plus her other chemo medicine. But it's causing leg pain. And since she did lose a lot of weight, um, it's, it's going to hurt her more. But that's the only thing that hurt mama. So you have to say, God, be glory for that. Because that's nothing but God. For what she has to go through, if you can just get out of there with some leg pain, you know it's nothing but God in her favor. So I'm grateful. I'm so grateful. Um, and like I said, for my cousin, she ain't got to, she don't have to worry about none of that no more. She's in with our father. And I said before, those are the most precious hands any of us want to be in at the end of the day, the hands of our father. And we all going to take that journey one day when he say so. So yeah, but so I'm good. I am. I'm good, y'all. Philip is doing okay. He did, of course. He went back to school today. He was kind of sad, like I said, this whole week and this weekend. But he had a pretty good day yesterday. Um, one of his friends came by and visited, and they went for a walk and just kind of hung out. And that helped him a lot. Um, and that's why he I went by leisure the day before. And so he's doing okay today. He came in there and hugged me, and he was like, have a good day, Mom. I say, you have a good day too, son. <laughs> So I really pray my baby have a good day at school today. Um, I do. I pray he have a good week. I pray y'all kids, grandkids, nieces, and nephews all have a good week this week. We going, we getting ready to go into the Christmas holidays. So I know they only have, you know, everybody just have a few weeks left of school. They're going to be taking exams. So I pray they do well on the exams. And y'all just enjoy y'all holidays. If I know um, I had got a comment on my channel, on my grocery haul channel, of somebody telling me they can't believe that I, ce I celebrate the pagan Thanksgiving holiday and I'm black. And it was a black woman that told me this. Um, and I just politely told her that I don't celebrate holidays for the name value of it being that holiday. <laughs> I celebrate my family. I celebrate God. And so I understand how a lot of people feel about Thanksgiving and everything that we all had to just go through in life, right? But here, like I said, again, here's the thing. It's not stepping on anybody's feelings or toes or nothing. But once again, I never celebrate a holiday by a name value or what people give that name. We'll say happy holidays, happy Thanksgiving. Um, it's out of politeness. It's showing respect to each other. But I celebrate my family. We sit down every Sunday, have family time, have family dinners. We cook a lot on Sundays. We have a big spread, and we do this every single Sunday, whether the kids come by or not. So we don't wait for a holiday to do that, um, whether it's a, a made-up holiday or however. We don't do that. So just like this past Sunday, there was no holiday going on. We cooked and enjoyed our family and had a big day. So that's what I was telling her. Like, sometimes people have to just kind of be mindful of things that they say. <laughs> like, your feelings are your feelings and you are entitled to them. But don't push your feelings on anybody else. 
Um, because just because you say something or just because you're celebrating something doesn't mean you're celebrating the name value of that holiday, you know. But once, you know, I told her, like I said, I was very polite, wasn't shady, wasn't. I just told her and she didn't come in back anything else. So mama calling me. Hold on, y'all. All right, y'all. Mama say, I'm ready. So now I'm going to go. All I did was park on that little back row so I can pull right on out of here. So I'm going to pull up right here. I got to find all that she go look at. <laughs> oh, they got the past Christian rehab bus out here this morning. Let me get her in the car, y'all. Hold on one second. Look at mama. Look at her. A pretty cell. Okay, family, we're home. I just got finished doing this little haul. I had to stop to get Mama her heating pad. I'm about to take it out the pack and give it to her. But she been uh, I got the king size one. I had, like I mentioned in my haul, the one that Jordan was telling her about the regular, um, the regular size. They were sold out, so I had to go up a size to the size well now she got her heating pad and then she go there i know y'all seen in the video and like she said she feel good it's just her leg but i'm gonna um she's just asking to eat stuff i'm gonna give her one of her little pain pills oh uh, not i'm not gonna give her the um the oxycodone i'm gonna give her the proxy and that'll help um, it'll help a little bit with her pain It'll help with the inflammation with her joint pain. But if I give her the oxy, oxycodone, it's going to put her to sleep. And I know she don't want to sleep right now. So I had to give me some more bread. Now I'm back to three O's. Because I do not like being in the house without bread or milk. I don't know what this is that I keep saying. I don't even like this kind of cup. Oh, I'm sorry, y'all. I got y'all. Oh, which kind of way? Yeah, I know I just wiped off this kind of top. I don't know what that is. I don't care. I know Mama made her some hot chocolate. Like slow it down. Get my milk and stuff put up from this hall. And fix me some breakfast. And my breakfast is going to consist of... Um... Turkey sausage, and I'm gonna pick me some of my brand's flaky layer biscuits. And I'm gonna put my turkey sausages, the turkey, the heat of shower room. I'm gonna put this in the air fryer. And this is gonna be my breakfast with some orange juice. Uh, they still got chicken. From yesterday. They don't have, they open that last sneak of juice. They sure did. Well, they don't have to stop and get some. Cause mama not gonna do it. I brought them some juice up there. When me and Phillip went to the store, Phillip picked out that juice. He got two red and orange. So I'm gonna let Riri go eat the beehive. Stop and get them some juice. So I got two whole gallons of milk, two I bought yesterday. So probably, most likely, my, uh, what's today? Today, Monday. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Most likely by Wednesday. I'm going to be going to have a real, real one of them stop and get some milk. Because y'all know mama love her milk. She be drinking her milk good. And she don't make no apologies for drinking. And she'll say, I'll buy some. That's just what she said. She'll say, I'll buy some. And I look at her. I just look at her. <laughs> I just look. I'm like, woman, if you don't get somewhere and sit down, and this stuff here gonna get thrown out, and I can run it through the dishwasher. And a few of y'all was asking me how I'm doing um, since that burning. I'm going to show y'all. It got me. And it's starting to. And I got them all on my chest. Like y'all see these burn marks? 
it got me here good and then like i said on my chest so it's starting to scab up they burn um i do have a cream they did give me a cream for it but the cream that i got is just like the one that they gave mama after her surgery so i already have it but i went on and got it filled anyway um and like he said it's not And like he said, thankfully, it was not a, um, like a really bad burn. It's just more surface because the, the grease hit my shirt. But from the grease hitting my shirt and it's sticking onto my skin, I still got a grease burn. But it would have been worse if it would have just hit my skin. Um, so like I said, I am grateful and thankful because of that. But yes, it still burns me. And like I said, I'm always real careful when I'm in the kitchen. Actually, that's the first time I ever got a grease burn. Like I said, I was in here by myself. I wasn't thinking about nothing. I wasn't worrying about nothing. I had nothing on my mind. It just happened. And sometimes stuff just happens, you know. All right, sorry about that, y'all. But yeah, like I said, you know, sometimes accidents just, they just happen. <laughs> can't, can't do nothing about it. But just thank the Lord that it wasn't worse and Nobody else was around. Uh, so what y'all got on y'all agenda today? Are y'all out doing some Christmas shopping? Did y'all have work? Uh, I know a lot of my ladies are in retail or either work from home. And I know stuff busy this time of year. I know. And these are just all my towels and washcloths. Mama eat clothes for me. Joy gave for her shower this morning. to the back. And me and Jordan will fold it I bought this about a, two years ago, maybe. But yeah, I like it because it rolls <laughs> and it's deep. It's, it's a big size basket. One thing I don't like about it doesn't have a top, but that's okay. It's all right. Can't have it. Like that. And, huh? Your pill in your glasses. Get mama pillow in her glasses. <laughs> Talking to me. Family. She finna read something. She put her pillow under her um in her back while she on the couch. She usually she used to have her heated blanket, but her therapist, her physical therapist told her to not do both. Like, if she's going to do her bengay, don't do the bengay and put her heating pad or heated blanket on. Because it can't cause burns. Alright, let me get these clothes folded. And by the time I'm done with this and get them put up, then my 
Oh, breakfast will be done. Look at this one. He's so tired, y'all. He tired. No, I'm just kidding. All right. Look at my rose feather stuff. I showed y'all this yesterday. I told y'all I'm going to put it on my dresser. But I got to find a spot over there for it. But for right now, it's just take right here. All right, let me get these clothes out of it. All right, y'all, I'm back. <laughs> I am back. All right, try my clothes. This is my shirt I had on yesterday. It's washed. But now I got grease stains from where the grease popped me. <laughs> but it didn't wash it clean. I just threw it on. Because I just folded it up. My biscuits. I'm going to show them, y'all. I love these flaky layer biscuits. I can eat this whole all eight. And they're not burnt. I ain't have them in there the whole time. I don't do the whole time. Ooh. It's just so. I'm ready. Let me see if my sausage is done. And if not, I'm going to pop them back in here for a few more minutes. They're almost finished. I told y'all I did 325. Alright, four more minutes. And then they'll be done. And I'm about to finish. I got some apple butter jelly. I got my pineapple preserve. I got my grape jelly. They're going to be my pineapple. I want to take some pineapple with that sausage because it's a turkey sausage. And I think that turkey sausage with this pineapple preserve will go real good. calcium one. I always get the extra calcium if they have it available. Sometimes they be sold out but when they have it I get the extra calcium. But I'm about to go eat. I got my biscuits, my jelly, my orange juice, and my sausage. Yes <laughs> mother. What? What you want to say? Tell y'all something. She wanna tell y'all something on camera. I had to turn the light on. I hope she ain't gonna cry because I ain't I don't I ain't finna um Yeah, yeah, don't cry. Cause you gonna have them crying. And I gotta edit it. But they gonna say, Mama Margaret, if you wanna cry, you can cry. Hold on. That's what they gonna say. Can y'all see him? Hold on, let me pause this. Mute the tea. All right, there you go. Good, good afternoon, family. I know y'all ain't seen me in a good while because, because I, I wasn't com comfortable. I wasn't really comfortable in coming on because, because I I don't know I don't know a whole lot of weight and I I don't I I kind of don't look the same and then and then some, sometimes it's hard for me to speak. Um, on kind of my mouth, and I know it when I go look at look at Lisa YouTube channel, <coughs> and, and y'all see I have a a rag up to my mouth like like that, and I'm explaining why I had a rag up to my mouth because. I give out fluid drainage 
in my mouth. And and, and this is the only way I can cake. I catch it. But I I've been I've been through a lot and well my 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 chemo doctor had pump put me on a, a extra chemo meal treatment and it, it is I call it truer truer and one one time they did both them at the same time. They did the new one and they did my regular chemo and I was down there for four hours and and that Wednesday I I didn't get sick that Tuesday but that Wednesday oh I got so sick I tell y'all I I thought I was gonna be the world that's how bad. I was feeling, I, I ain't tell Lisa, but that's, that's how bad I was feeling. I was really sick. And then, um, I'm, I'm kind of confused, but no. No, when I came back from chemo that Tuesday, I was really sick. And the, and and then that Wednesday, I was in bed all day long. I get I get up, come see in here. Next few minutes I gotta go there right now. All that bad shit. So so when when I went in that church, when I went and bring that pump back, I told them that I was okay. I thought I thought I was gonna die. That's no lie. I was just that sick. So so they told my doctor and then I think I had to go see her. That Friday, and and I say, I had told, I say, please, don't, if 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 it could happen, please don't let me do both of them treatment at the same time, cause there was just too much on my body, my body can take so so much, and and. I gained weight, I lose weight. I gained weight, I lose weight. So I'm doing the best, best I can. I'm, I'm eating, I'm, I'm, I'm eating more now than I was, but I, I, I drink some insure, insure, uh, yeah, I drink some eggs. Ain't sure, God, I drink milk, 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 milk. I can drink milk all day. That ch that ch that isn't quick and that hurts the still. So what I, what I do not, I maybe two glasses of it in the evening time. I drink one and then they long about eight o'clock, eight o'clock. Sometimes nine o'clock. I get up and go and go drink that other grape chocolate milk. I don't, I don't know why I'm drinking so much chocolate milk, but and then I drink some egg milk, and then I make me some cocoa or even some hot chocolate, and and. And I've been eating them uh, gingerbread cake where, where Lisa uh, bought me. 
Yeah. But I, I just wanted to come on and talk to y'all. So, so, I hope, I hope y'all can understand me. And like I say, I have good days and I have bad days. And all I do, I, all I can do is just keep playing. Now, I told Lisa, I say, Lisa, I feel so good. I say, I'm not in no kind of pain or nothing, but it's just my right leg kind of gets stiff on me. My muscles tighten me, and, and I can't hardly walk on this leg. And it kind of hard on me to get out of my bed, get out of my bed to go to the bathroom at night. I got, I got kind of grip up my leg, but now I'm on, I'm on the heating pad. Once I start walking on it, you know it, it feels, it feels good, but. That's all they for me. If my if, if my right leg get right, I can go back and man and, and cook. Cause I still want want to make me a good old power beef stew. But right now, I I can't do it on time. My on time. My leg, but. I just wanted to give y'all an update uh, how I've been doing, and I want to thank all y'all for y'all prayers and concern, and, and I'll be reading y'all comments on it and saying y'all praying for me. And that's all I need, all our prayer. And, and, um, I'm not giving up on uh, when I wake up in the morning, I say, thank you, Jesus. You gave me another day. Cause I don't know what the rest of the day gonna be for me. So you you hear the day, you go on the day. So so I thank I thank my Lord every every day. And I, I thank the people for helping me do this. And all my noise, all my noise is down there as, as, as a chemo pill. They so good to, they so good to me concerned about them this morning. They say, Miss Moore, you look good. I say, thank you. But, this right leg bought me, and they, they, they think it's the weather, the, the weather, the cold weather. But, but I asked Richard to not come on, because it's been a while, so, so, so I hope y'all were able to understand me, because I'm 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 doing best I can with my with my talking. I get some people be wondering why I had this rag up in my mouth here. But but like I say, I had a lot of food be coming out of my mouth and sometimes it takes me a while to 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 say what I want to say. But When I talk to my sister and my brother, they say they they understand me. So they tell me to take my time and, and that's what I do. But that's that's all for now. Y'all my y'all 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 see me again because I gotta decorate my kitchen. My kitchen with my Christmas stuff, and God allow it. I'm, a, I'm a, 
private private is the first. And I'ma like my clemency and my light and my women and around around my porch. Uh, cause we got criminals in the past. And and by December first, you might stop and you might well stop decorating and trying to leave leash it just gotta put my two reindeer in my flower bed and my candy cane for me. She said she gonna do it for me. She she will. I don't I don't keep asking her cause, cause she said, Mom, I'ma do it, I'ma do it. And I don't wanna keep bothering her, you know. But that that's all for now, so I hope everybody just keep 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 your faith and and lean on the law and and thank him for what y'all what y'all have and what y'all don't have because because some people don't have anything, not even a house. So we think of what what you can get for for Christmas, because Christmas ain't promised to nobody. Just like thank you one promise to my neighbor. She it it made a week today of her passion. So that's why I say you you can prepare but God um, I'm prepared. So you just thank him every day that y'all wake up. But that's all I got to say to y'all. And I'm, I hope y'all have a, uh, what is it? Same Monday. I hope y'all have a, a happy Monday. And the rest of the week, and, and just hold on to God's hand, because that's why I do it, because he leads me to So once again, um, thank y'all for all y'all prayers and concerns about Ma Mama Margaret. So y'all have a best day. And, and, and I love y'all. That's all? That's it? That's all. That's it for Tater Chip? Yeah. All right. But y'all will see me again. Y'all will? Yeah, y'all gonna see her. Y'all see me again. Mm -hmm. Y'all seen Deontay? He walked in. He walked out. Me and Deontay say all the time the Lord ain't ready for her because she'll be up there telling him how to keep his house clean and to pick stuff up off the off the beautiful floors. Cause y'all, mama, mama mess for real, y'all. Mama be like, uh-uh, don't put that there. She'll be trying to rearrange it. Ain't no lie. She'll be trying to put that there. That mama, he ain't ready, he ain't ready for that yet. She, she still got more work here. She got to she gotta get done. What you watching, Joy? What you watching? Huh? Me? What? He putting out the deep burger. He's gonna fry a burger. I'm gonna do mama some more because she said she pulled. She just gonna get her insurance. She had she's gonna have some uh probably she'll probably do her piece of sweet potato pie or something tonight. But she said she'll have her burger tomorrow. And mama now y'all see half her body. <laughs> y'all see one half of her body. She eat. Hey, what they <laughs> Well, they sent you. Uh, I'm just waiting on Philip to come in. He normally get off the bus between 3.30 and 3.45. I'm going to let Riri stop and get them two more, two or three more things of juice. I told y'all that earlier. Y'all probably going to see half of my head. But yeah, but I'm not gonna keep y'all um 
I'm going to come back probably tomorrow and vlog some more. Because I'm honestly not going to do nothing else for the rest of the night. My leg is hurting me so bad right now. Um, no, I'm not. I was just saying I'm not. I was just telling them that I'm not going to have anything else no, to call. Are you kidding me, though? I don't have to give you a rain tear anymore. You're done. Mm -hmm. Sit down. Relax. Yeah, no. I, need, I, need to, I need a break now. Okay? Yeah. You, you stretched everyone out and stretched yourself out for a whole week. I'm over here. Nothing else. <laughs> All right. week. I mean, I got to get ready to get out of the next. It's done. It's over with. It's done. They Native done. Americans that went back home. They've been home. <laughs> exactly. So you stay home. Yeah. Let me go see who this is. No, I just this you can't just buy another one. Well, Maybe it's inside of your bag. I checked on top of my bag. Well, it gotta be somewhere to your head. It's somewhere. He can't find his charger to his laptop. What is some? You didn't happen to see his right charger to his laptop, did you? And they laptop for iPad, like Apple. Uh, Apple. I saw it. That's where it is. And Philip said he knew he had it. I did you know I checked out with it, so it's either Alisa used it or my well, it walked away. Well, it didn't walk away, so Alisa might have, I'm going to have to, I'll call Mitch and tell Mitch to have Alisa check, because that thing got to be somewhere, because I'm not replacing no school charger. I didn't go in your room. I didn't walk in your room at all, but that's it for me. I see y'all. <clears throat> Pay bills and... <laughs> Take care of them, they stuff for school and buy clothes, but you do it. Um, the nights that they want to get smart with you and you want to send them back to kingdom come. <laughs> um, when they going through trials, when they going through stuff, they dealing with depression. And you have to drop everything to help them. Take them through counseling. When they need money for football, because they want to play football, they want to be in a band, they want to do track, they want to do this, they want to go to competitions. They the uh, <laughs> um, insensitive com comments or feeling like entitlement or like you're not appreciated, like, or what I did wasn't enough. That's the stuff that breaks you to your core. But I say, Lord, I thank you. Because one day, 